An amortization schedule in Microsoft Excel is gonna help us understand our loan payments. And of those loan payments, how much is interest and how much is principal. It's also gonna help us see our loan balance and how that decreases over time. So imagine this scenario, we take a loan out for a factory of $3 million. And the annual interest rate on that loan is 3.8%. And we're gonna pay the loan back over 30 years. We're gonna make monthly payments though. So to get the total number of payments, we're gonna take 30 and multiply it by 12. So 360 is the total number of payments. Now, when you look at the amortization table down below, you're gonna see 360 months to match up with the number of payments. And you'll also see the interest in principal in each payment, which is gonna total or sum up to this, and then also your loan balance, which is gonna decrease over time. So in month number zero, we're just gonna put the interest principal and payment at zero and just use this to reference what the start of our loan is. Month zero is just to show that our loan has started. And then month one is when we make our first payment. So what we wanna do is calculate our interest and our principal and sum that up to get our total payment. So to calculate the interest payment, we can use the IPMT function. And the first thing we're gonna provide here is the rate, which is the annual interest rate, but we're gonna divide it by 12 because that's an annual rate and we're gonna pay this monthly. So we wanna divide that by 12. Now what we wanna do though, when we reference the annual interest rate, we wanna make it absolute by adding these dollar signs. So when we autofill the rest of the rows, that reference doesn't change. We don't want that to move. The next thing we're gonna put is the month or the period that we're making the payment. And so what we're gonna do here is select month one to the left and we can make that relative. We want that to be a relative reference because as we autofill that, we want the reference to move down to the appropriate month. And then I'll put a comma. And now I wanna calculate the total number of periods. So how many payments are we gonna make? And so I'm gonna take a reference of the loan period, which is 30, and multiply it by 12. And what I wanna do is make that reference to the loan period absolute, like I did with the annual interest rate, because I don't want that to move. And the final thing I'm gonna put in is the loan amount. And I wanna make sure that is also an absolute reference. I don't want those references up above to change as I fill out the rest of the rows. So when I enter this out, what I'll see is that my interest is $9,500 in month number one. It's showing up as negative though. You can leave it that way. I'm just gonna adjust it so it comes out positive. So I'm gonna multiply this by negative one. That's the interest I'm gonna pay in the first month. So now let's calculate the principal payment. What we're gonna do here is use the PPMT function, not IPMT, that was interest. PPMT is for the principal. But we're gonna fill it out very similar. And so for the rate, again, we're gonna take the annual interest rate, which we want to be absolute, and divide it by 12 because we're making monthly payments. And so I'll make sure that reference to the interest rate is absolute. And then I'm gonna put the current period, the one that I'm making the payment for, which is month number one, I'll just select that. And I'll leave that as relative because I want it to change as I autofill the rest of the rows. And then I'm gonna put in the number of periods, which is again, the loan period times 12, because I'm making monthly payments, 30 times 12. And I wanna make that reference to the loan period, again, absolute by adding these dollar signs so that it doesn't change. And the present value is gonna be the loan amount. And again, I wanna make that absolute as well. So I'm gonna put these dollar signs here. So that's how much principal I'm gonna pay. It's gonna come up negative again. If you wanna change that, just multiply it by negative one. You just wanna be consistent with whatever you do. And then to calculate my total payment, all I've gotta do is just sum up the interest and the principal. There we go. So my total payment is gonna be 13,978. Now what I wanna to do to finish this out is I wanna say, how is my balance decreasing over time? Hopefully the loan is getting smaller, right? That's the way it works. And so I'm gonna take my balance and subtract out the principal. As we're paying off our loan, the interest doesn't decrease the balance. It's just the principal payments that do. And so I wanna make sure I take the balance and subtract out the principal and I'll hit enter, and that's gonna be my updated balance after year one or month one. 
Now what I can do to autofill this, I don't have to do this row by row, is just select these four cells, interest, principal, payment, and balance. And then when I go to the balance cell, as I scroll over to the bottom right corner, I should see a symbol appear. Once I double click on that, I should see the rest of the amortization table fill out for me automatically. And as you scroll down here past these months, you'll see the loan balance decrease over time as you make these payments and the payments stay the same. This is a fixed payment loan here. If I scroll down to the bottom, what I should see, if I can get there, is zero. In that or after month 360, I've paid out the loan, it's all done. So that's how you fill out an amortization table in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want the link to the sample file used in this video, it's down in the description, as well as a link to an Excel course if you're interested.